Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family. GM Gabuzian is here with you and we are beginning our daily lesson. Today we are going to cover the mating pattern of Damiano. This checkmate idea was first published by Pedro Damiano, a Portuguese chess player in far far 15th 12th year. In this position it's white to move and position is absolutely symmetrical. So even now guys I will offer you to pause the video and try to find a mating idea here for white. We have a pawn on g6, this means that if suddenly our queen is getting to h7 square, it's gonna be a mate, regardless if we have some heavy pieces or don't. The fact is that queen is covering the another square, or it can be other any piece, except of the knight, which will be protecting the h7. Here, white is just doing this very simple idea. Rook h8 check. King takes, rook h1 check. We are just getting rid of our heavy pieces, and later on with the tempo bringing our queen to the required spot, making the mate. It's happening king g8 and again rook h8. King takes h8 and already queen is able to go to the right square with the tempo, giving a check. So it's happening queen h1, king g8 and queen h7 checkmate. So this is so called Damiano's mate. As well, at the beginning position, if instead of the first move of white, it's the first move of black, the same idea is happening. Black now can be playing rook a1, takes rook a8, king b1, rook a1 check, king takes, queen a8. Absolutely same idea, king b1 and queen a2 checkmate. So this is the topic that we are going to cover today guys, and I will tell you that very useful and practical during the games, personally I have had these kind of ideas in my chess career. Let's go ahead to see next example. In this not very simple position guys it's black to move. I will offer you to pause the video and try to find how to continue here for black. In order to successfully attack and kill this king we need to open up the h file. So black now is beginning with knight g3 check, pawn takes, takes on g3 check, king g1. Here the issue is our king is on the way of our heavy pieces, but black is just playing king e7, ignoring the fact now we're missing a tempo, the thing is now rook h1 is the threat. In the game it has happened, queen e1 and actually what gave up after rook h1 check takes, since rook h8 king g1 is again mating with rook h1 takes and queen h8. But after king e7, white was not having any chances to survive this. For example, if now white plays bishop c5, we just play rook takes c5. And we're again mating in the same way, white cannot be preventing this. After king e7, white can try to play queen d2. Now there is a difference, since after rook h1 takes rook h8 and king g1, if we suddenly here make a mistake and play rook h1 check, now white is gonna be winning. Since after king h1, queen h8, white has bishop h6 move, just covering this h file. It's gonna be a big issue. For this reason, after king g1 in this position, we're taking on e3 firstly, with a check, white takes, and already now rook h1, king h1, and queen h8, mating opponent's king. Very powerful mating idea, guys. This was happened in a real game played by 2500 players. Let's now go ahead to see the next one. This is my favorite example in this mating topic. It's white to move. You can pause the video and try to find this super exciting idea. As we know guys, we need this queen to stay on h7, right? That's right. So now we don't need this bishop, don't need this rook and also don't need this guy. Let's give all of them one by one. Bishop e6 check is the beginning move. Pawn takes, rook h8 check, king takes h8, rook h2 check, king g8, now rook h8 check, black cannot be doing anything about this, even though black has super strong pieces in the center, they are not controlling the required lines at diagonals. King h8, queen h1, so black can be taking some time with queen h4, rook h5, but eventually is getting mated whenever they go king to g8 and queen comes to h7 square. Another time very beautiful mate, white gave away all of the pieces. Let me 
Also mentioned that at the beginning, if you found rook h8 move, this is also working. Since after takes rook h to king g8, bishop e6 is just a transposition, guys. Let's now go ahead to see the next one. Here we're having another nice position for white trying to attack and it's white turn to play. You can guys pause the video and think what are we going to do in this position. Since we know that we're looking for a Damiano's mate, we are trying to create a pawn on b6 square. The best is to play bishop b6 with a tempo. Now, if black is ignoring this and goes queen d7, we can take the exchange, we can take knight e5, both are winning for white. After bishop b6, let's see what happens if black takes. Takes and queen d7. We already got the required pawn, but now we have some obstacles on the way of our queen. Once again, guys, you can pause the video and try to find it. Now we're getting rid of the knight firstly with knight c5 tempo. The issue for black is they cannot go to some good square with the queen and prevent the mate. So black is trying to take, but actually the mate is unavoidable. Rook a8 takes rook a1, king b8 and rook a8 check again. King takes a8 and queen a1, followed by queen a7 checkmate. Let's go ahead to see our last example. In this position, it's black to move. Right now, we're a little far from Damiano's mate, but the thing is we can be creating this mating idea. So, pause the video guys and think how we're going to play for black in this position. As you know, we need to have a pawn on the right square, and white pieces are suddenly taking good positions to get under a tempo. Black begins with g5. White can go to knight d3, but knight d5 is little better. Knight d5 and g4 with a tempo, we are advancing our pawn. Knight d2, g3. And once white is playing bishop e3, with rook h1 already we're obtaining the required mate. Of course, this is not a forced line, but each time white is trying to make a different move, they are losing a piece since our pawn is all the time attacking all of the pieces, guys. So, with this slow g5, g4, g3, black is instantly creating the mating position and finishing off the game. Let's now go ahead to the next one, which is gonna be your homework for this topic. It's white to move, dear players, and you can be sharing your thoughts and ideas how to mate your black king in the comment section below. GM Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.